Hey guys, welcome back, and welcome to the house 2.0. There was a bit of an accident involving some lava and uh, this wooden house of mine, <laughs> and it pretty much burned to the ground. So I had to rebuild, and I think it looks better now. I actually um, I removed this thing here and just moved it over here, and I actually moved this wall over one. So this bedroom is now just, you know, just big enough for a bed. Um, but that's going to allow me to, when I get my, my bigger table, I can put it here. I can just dig out that spot behind the wall and, and put it there, and it'll stick out this much. So that way it's, you know, even on both sides. Um, and I, for a while I was trying to use something else other than this because I was trying to put stone here. But, like, everything was cobblestone, and there was a little bit of stone in here, like, some some smooth stone around here. And I was like, this looks terrible, because there's no contrast. It all just blends together, and it's hard to look at. So I ended up uh, putting the wood back in here and changing everything else to stone brick, which I think contrasts much better than the cobblestone did. Um, so that's pretty cool. I added this... I think I added this um, after the, the burn the the big fire <laughs> um and uh that should prevent because i think what happened was there were there's slabs up there like this there's this block here but you can see that line between the the two like right there um though there's slabs up there and they were wooden slabs before um because this fire will only spread like into these blocks if there's a burnable block next to it and because this block is air block is like like that block, but I'm getting rid of that quick before this burns. Um, because that block is air block, it can't light a fire here. Um, and so it was the same thing. It it goes all the way up, and it should go up four blocks. So there's like one, two, three, four, I don't know. Somehow something caught fire. <laughs> and uh, I think it was because of up there. Um, if not, then we're likely to have another incident. <laughs> um, but let's hope we don't. So, yeah, that happened. And, uh, let's see, I think that's all that really happened. I've come back here, I've got a bunch of chickens now, and they like to just chill out by the gate, which makes it really hard to get in without letting them out. Um, I'm just collecting some eggs. No, you ain't getting out, buddy. Um, you know, breeding some, some cows and stuff. So, yeah, um... We have everything we need now to start doing some research here. And I'm going to try to use these eggs because they have a bunch of that uh, permutatio thing. Um, and I'm going to need some metal, which means I'm probably going to need to smelt some more iron here. Uh, I'm probably going to have to get some more iron, honestly. But let's let's work on it with this. And let's see, I'm going to need... Um, no. That one should work out by itself. Silver is going to need... Um, actually, I have some of these over here. That might work. Let's see. Okay, let's go through the metals. We've got gold, which has that, which we've already done. Tin. Uh, lead Lead has the... Oh, I guess lead ore doesn't actually have the thing. But um, I'm going to need some chests for the lead transmutation. Oops. Oh, well. We'll make four. Um... And let's see, we've got none of those I can transmute to. Silver is the crystal, so we're going to need like this and maybe some glass. Um, isn't it? Oh no, it's tin that's the crystal. Silver is just the, that thing. Copper is that, which we have food. Um, so let's, let's head over here and start researching. I'm just going to throw an egg in. Oh good, that goes fast. Unknown theory, okay. Now for the metal. I'm amazed that the that one went faster. Tin transmutation. Okay, tin is going to need this. Wow, look, plus five for this. I think that's what it means. I assume that it means plus five and not it was upgraded to five. But anyway, there's tin. Okay, now put a couple more eggs in. Okay, put some more iron in. I'm definitely going to run out of iron here. Oh, good, iron transmutation. Beautiful. Um, that may help a little bit. 
silver transmutation, okay. Silver transmutation is just going to need metal and the permutatio. Um, because silver's aspect is the permutatio thing. Okay, I don't know which one this one is. Oh god, why does it take so Ooh, thomium. Okay, um, I don't have anything magic prepared. Well, poop. Uh... Uh, I could use thomium. <laughs> thomium for thomium. Um, let's see, I've got some of these. These have some... some magic in them. There you go. That was, that worked well. Um, the reason I collected these is because I know that for bees, there's some magic bees that need that kind of stuff. Um, so, that's, uh, that's going to be useful at some point. Okay, which one is this? Do we know? It's probably lead, but I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to try putting in... It's lead, yeah. Okay, give me that iron. Ugh, walls. This is why I don't normally build walls in my houses, because it's like... <laughs> I always walk into them. They get in the way. Now, I don't have a Thaumonomicon, so I'm not going to know when we're done with the transmutations here. Um... But hopefully I'll be able to figure it out at some point. We're definitely going to have to go back mining for more stuff after this. Um, okay, copper, right. Which I have plenty of food with which to research that. Okay, so now I'm just going to look. There are one, two, three, four, five different types. So we've got tin, we have copper, we have silver, we have lead, and... made thomium. What's the other one? Tin, copper, lead, silver, and there's something else. I know there's one more. Oh. Well. Okay. <laughs> that was unexpected. Um, I need something with fire on it. Uh, I mean, I could use those fire shards, but like, I don't have any more coal. I guess we're going to use some fire shards. <laughs> Um. Oh, good. It didn't even use it up. Great. Okay. Well, that's that's some good research right there. Um, it looks like we're not going to find any more. Yeah, there's nothing else with with either of those available right now. So we put this stuff back. Put these away. Um, put our meager amount of iron away. And I know where a village is, so I'm going to make my way there, and hopefully they will have some bookshelves so I can snag a Thaumonomicon and potentially some books. Um, so yeah, uh, it's actually in the desert. Oh, darn. I think it's that way. Yeah, because I found it when I was looking for chickens, and I, I went that way and curved all the way around. So I will head out that way to the desert and get to that village and then I'll bring you guys back in when I get there. Alrighty, here we are. I did come by here before and snag some carrots and potatoes and stuff, so if you saw them lying around in a chest, that's where I got them from. Um, oh goody, we do have a scientist dude. Huh, scientist dude. Paper for emeralds. Oh, he's not even in the right house. That means there's one around here somewhere. Yeah, here we are. Okay, give me a thumb and omicon. Give me them books. I'm just pillaging and raiding the, vill the villagers' homes. They don't need any of this stuff like I do, so they can just suck it. There ought to be something good up here. Uh, Niter, knowledge fragments. Knowledge fragments are good. Um, I don't think there's a second chest up top, is there? No. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a good thing to remember, is that some of these towers have... Um, have chests in them. They're actually, it's the ones that have the special blocks here. Um, like, for instance, the, with the regular ones, they'll have the chiseled stone brick, so that it's the one with, like, the circle-y thing, um, will be on the corners, and those are the ones with the, the stuff inside, the regular towers. I believe just have regular, regular blocks there instead. Um, so I'm looking around just to see if there's anything else that's interesting here. We have swamp behind it, some oil. Um, 
some rubber trees. That's good to know. And there's a bunch of these pillars around here. There's one there, there's one there, and there's one a little bit ways back there. Oh, oil. Okay. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Ooh, and a Thumbcraft guy, I think. Thumbcraft? Yeah. Emeralds for knowledge fragments. I'm gonna have to, like, protect this guy somehow. I wanna get him in... Go in a house. Just go into a house. No, it's okay. Just go into a house. You guys are trapped. Dude, go into a house. Go into that house, if you'd like. That's fine with me. Yep, in you go. Okie dokie. There we go. Now he's perfectly safe. Theoretically. Though, in practice, probably not. I should really, like, get in there <laughs> and uh, make sure it's lit up. Um, put a torch there. I'm going to move that torch down a bit. Put a torch there. Put a torch there. Okay. You should be good. <laughs> Um, I don't see anything. Hey, villager buddy, you want to go in there? Sure, I'll, I'll let you go in there. Um, I'm just trying to keep these guys safe as many as I can, you know. Um, he's <laughs> locked out of his house. Okay, this area is far enough away that it's usually unloaded, so that shouldn't be much of a problem. But, just in case. Okay, let's check the Thaumonomicon and see what we've got done here. Okay, we've got... Oh, we do have all the transmutations done. Oh, right, iron transmutation, that was one of them. I still don't know how to get this. I tried it when I was playing on a server, but I couldn't get it for some reason. So maybe that'll work for us now, maybe not. I don't know. Um, also, one of the reasons why it's good that I'm doing Thumbcraft first is that I'll get the research for these bee things, and I'll be able to start up with them right away when I start doing bees, which is good because they do some cool stuff with the flux and everything. Um, so, yeah, I've got a ways to go. <laughs> um... But we've we've gotten started. So I will meet you guys back at the house, and I'll try to think of something to do if this isn't the end of an episode. Hey guys, um, I just wanted to show you before the episode ends, because we were a couple minutes uh, short, I added a flax farm over here, and a melon and pumpkin farm over here, but I only have pumpkins right now, so I'm going to have to wait until I actually find the melons. But, once I find them, they'll have a place to go. I'm contemplating making this road go out into the forest, possibly, like, under trees and stuff here. Um, just to have, like, and then have, like, a little shack out in the woods where I can just, oh, what are you doing out here? It's daytime. I slept, like, just as it got dark, so he couldn't have had time to spawn. Um, but, because, like, I've been using this as a, uh, as a tree farm, this forest here. Um, I mean, you may just say, well, it's just a forest, not a tree farm, but, you know, I've been replanting the trees and everything, and actually, they've, they've gotten quite close to the house. Um, I don't know if they started this close or not, but this area up front here is just really sparsely populated. Like, there's big areas where you can just walk through and there's no trees. Um, so it seems like I may have done that myself. A little pond there. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. So I may push this back a bit so that the forest is actually back here, like at this line and back, just so that the path can come out into the woods. Um, or so I have a reason to build a path out into the woods, basically. Because um, I'd like to build a little, a little shack here or something with some axes in it. Um, maybe some wood or something, just so that I can, just for fun, basically, so I can have a little shack out in the woods, because I like this path that I'm building here. Um, as of right now, it just kind of stops, um, at the melon farm, but I intend to have a sheep farm, so I may come out here and put it, like, out here, or maybe even attach to the wheat farm, like I did with the chickens. Um... And I may even, at some point, make a pig farm, just because I know there's tons of pigs in that forest over there. But that's that's going to be in the future, just if I decide to, you know. Because I've already got the, the cows for food here, and for leather and everything. They're more... They give more food than the than pigs would. Um, 
so I don't really have all that much reason to to farm pigs unless I decide that I want to ride them someday. Um, but I don't know. So that's that's that. Um, oh, I do want to set up a reed farm too because I don't like this this river here. It just looks odd. Um, so maybe if I push the forest back, maybe I can put it here, or more likely I'll put it somewhere out here. Um, just because I want this path to be very windy and, and branch off and stuff, just for fun, basically. Just because I think it's really cool to have a little path going around. I like how it is. You know, I just come out of my house, and I'm like, okay, where do I need to go? I just... La -de -da -de -da. Oh, here's the chicken farm, here's the cow farm, here's the wheat farm, here's the flax farm. You know, and right now the reeds are over there, and I don't like having to go, oh, okay, well, I'll just run off the path right now. So, it just seems convenient. It doesn't actually help you or anything. Like, I know there are some games, like, um, if you play Don't Starve, the paths that you can make actually make you run faster. I'm fairly certain that's not the case in Minecraft, but, um... Regardless, it's just neat to have a little path. Um, it's it's the idea, you know, the I it's the illusion of being easier to walk on. Um, just because, like, I see this trail and I'm just like, well, I want to follow the path, you know, walk on the the nice, comfortable wood floor as opposed to all the dirt. But maybe that's just me. But so I'm gonna have to think about that. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's it. So uh, next time we'll do some more research, and I did um, I did go mining for some stuff. I've used up a lot of the iron, though, I think, um, making tools and stuff. Well, not a lot of it. Um, but, you know, I've got a whole bunch of extra tools in here that I should really just, like, use up at some point. I had to make an another hoe, so I figured I'd just make it iron. Gonna have, to <coughs> gonna have to make some new tools. I wanted to make thomium, but I don't have anything with magic on it that's easily accessible. Like, there's blaze powder that I got from a desert. Um, I didn't go to the nether without you guys. There's there's a little flowers that grow in the desert, kind of like the um, these things that drop blaze powder. These ones drop quicksilver. But yeah, I don't have anything, or I don't have a bunch of stuff with magic on it. Like, I could use these, maybe, but those are kind of valuable. Um, but aside from that, I'm like, well, I mean, I've got these things. Um, <laughs> I've got a blaze powder. Uh, I could get some great wood logs for magic, but that seems like it's big waste, because I'd be dumping so much tree, um, or lignum into the atmosphere. So, I don't know, I'm going to have to figure that out. And I don't want to use, um, uh, what's it called? Tallow, because tallow has a bunch of, uh, corpus in it. Like, the tallow itself, even though it's not going to show me, um has, I believe, the four corpus and then one magic on it. So it's you can make magic using that, but um, it's, you know, at what cost, really. So I'm going to have to think on that and find a way to make some thomium. And uh, I suppose that's what we'll start next episode with, because I need new stuff. Like, I mean, this stuff is cool, but I think thomium protects for more. And besides, I want thomium tools, because these iron tools are just not cutting it. Um... And maybe we'll need to get diamonds, too, because we've only got the one right now, and I want an enchanting table, because if you haven't noticed, I've got 39 levels. So I'll have to look into that stuff, and um, maybe we'll go caving. Maybe I'll just do that by myself. <coughs> I'm sorry, maybe we'll go caving. Uh, or maybe I'll just do that by myself, but, you know. Either way, we'll have, I'll have something for you guys next episode. So, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.